Hello, I'm Andrew Newby. I'm an Academy of Finland uh, researcher uh, working on a project on the Great Famine in Finland. We're here on the observatory hill, Tati in, uh, in Helsinki. One of the things we don't have in Helsinki is a, is a memorial to the Great Famine years, but uh, there are certain sites of memory that, that are, are related. So here, for example, the, the observatory was planned by uh, the well-known architect Engel, but it was pretty much a bare rock, and this was part of the, of the plan. Um, in 1860, Eight in January, the plan is developed by the people who live in the area and some many uh, very prominent people in Finnish society to landscape this area. And the purpose of this uh, activity was to provide relief work for some of the people who were uh, in need, uh, who had come either were in the city of Helsinki or who had come into the city of Helsinki uh, because they had no means of support, uh, particularly those with families. And some very prominent people in, in Finnish society are involved in raising money uh, for this project. The idea is that work will be given to these starving people, but it would also have a social benefit for the, uh, for the city. Uh, for example, Aurora Karamzin, who is uh, this year's the 150th anniversary of the Deaconess movement in, in, in Finland. This was very much born of this crisis uh, during the famine years. She opened the, uh, the appeal with a 1,000 mark donation which was only matched by um, Adlabari, the, the governor general of Finland. We have moved over to the old church in Espo. Why, why are we here? Uh, we're here, I suppose, because uh, this is another place where there are certain sites of remembrance. There were, although Espo didn't suffer as much during the famine years, for example, as, as the neighboring parishes of Kirkunummi or, or Vihti, and certainly not as, as much as places uh, in, in some parts of Finland where maybe a third of the population died. There's nevertheless a, an excess of deaths in, in Espo. Um, and there is an interesting uh, grave here as well, uh, Birger Agricola, who uh, was a, a member of the, the nobility. He was a prominent member of the, of the army, of the military. He was part of the bodyguard of the, of the governor general. He died of typhus in, in March. 1868. It's very rare for a famine victim to uh, to have his own named grave, but this is uh, obviously a, a feature of being of the upper classes. It's very interesting to be here in, in Finland uh, in 2017. Finland celebrating the centenary of its own existence uh, as a nation, but of course it's also the sesquicentenary of the the famine years. Um, I don't know, that different societies remember different things for different reasons. It is very noticeable from an Irish point of view that people aren't really talking about the 150th anniversary of the Great Famine uh, here in Finland at this, at this particular time. So maybe it's actually ourselves in Ireland that uh, make much more emphasis of the famine in our history than other peoples do. And uh, it's not to say one is right and one is wrong. People just remember different things in different ways. And uh, it's interesting to observe what happens in other countries.